Hey guys, we're back with another video. This time we're gonna check out exactly what's inside my flight bag. So just want to give a quick thank you to my Go Flight for sponsoring all the Piper Ambassadors with the PLC uh, flight bag. Basically one of the most spacious flight bags out there on the market. If you're a student or, or you're working and you're looking for a bag that can balance your work life and flight training, the PLC flight bag should definitely be on your, on your list. I've been using this flight bag for about a month now and it's pretty much helped me keep everything organized. So let's take a look inside. So opening up this flight bag here, uh, what I have are a couple of special pens that I use for signing my logbooks. Uh, blue and black, that's the only ink I use. I also have the Holy Bible, my logbook. For those of you who are doing flight training, know everything about how much I hate this. <laughs> Foggles, of course, used heavily a lot, used heavily in uh, the instrument training world. I have my business card in here. I have my pilot certificate. And then I have a UND guide to our safety management systems. So, which is something I thought was pretty cool. I got it in class at one time and I just kept it in my flight bag ever since. So I almost forgot to show you guys this really cool pen with, uh, which I found at Oshkosh. A pilot made it and so at one tip it's, it's a stylus. But if you take the cover off, you know, it looks like a normal pen. But then let's say you're flying at night, you know, it's always hard to see what you're writing. Put the cap on it and it has a little red light which is really cool. So it doesn't really interfere with your night vision which is, uh, which is like a genius idea. Like on off on off on <laughs> off I don't know I just thought it was pretty cool moving on to the side I have a water bottle which comes really in handy if you're doing long cuts countries and you're thirsty and you need a drink of water so water bottle and it fits just nicely in that side pocket in the interior I have my voice recorder. A lot of you ask, how do I get the audio inside the cockpit? This is what I use. I will use a voice recorder. There's so many other ways to do it, but that's just my method. My headset. This is it. Lightspeed Zulus. They've been great. With the Lightspeed Zulus, I also pack uh, some spare batteries just in case. Um, the one inside my headset dies, and that's just for the active noise cancellation. I don't know why I have this, but I have a simple calculator. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Moving on to the quick, easy access zipper here. I usually don't like to fly with stuff in my pocket. It just makes me a little bit uncomfortable. So I usually empty out my pockets. I have my wallet here. I have my AirPods. I have my car keys in there as well. And this is what it looks like in the interior of uh, the flight bag. Okay, so moving on to the outermost zipper now. In the back, there's a slot for my laptop, which I really like a lot because there are not many um, flight bags that allow you to do that. In the second slot, I have my folder, which has uh, my medical certificate, nav logs, um, something really cool. North Dakota Passport, for those of you who don't know, uh, there are 89 airports in North Dakota. And so uh, if you go to 30 of the 89 airports, you get a North Dakota legendary shirt. If you get 60 out of 89, you get a flight bag. If you get 89 out of 89 airports in North Dakota, you get a brand new leather jacket. So you can pick this up at any FBO at any airport. Even though I don't use it a lot, I have a VFR sectional. I have a My Go Flight kneeboard uh, also attached where it has the um, airport diagram of Grand Forks Airport. An E6B, we all love this, right? Back in the 102 private pilot ground school days. 
of course, the important thing, a Piper Archer checklist, always carry this around with every flight I have. Um, know your, remember your flows. I also carry my iPad in here, and my Go Flight has a, a nice um, knee board for it as well. So I usually strap this around my leg, and it's really handy because you can rotate it too around your leg. So if you don't like landscape, you can also have it portrait and whatnot. Really cool. Moving into the interior pockets, I have a slot for my computer mouse. In this one, I have um, an extra mask because we're still in the TSA rules with mask at the airports. I also have a night light as well for I strapped this on my head. It's really useful um, for night flights, inspecting the aircraft, doing pre-flights and stuff like that. And I also have an external battery. You know, you're on these long flights, it's always nice to have an external battery pack that I can use to charge my iPad, charge my phone, or something like that. So it's also um, very handy to have. And lastly, just on the side here, I have a slot where I put my laptop charger. Uh, you never know when I might need it. So really nifty spot for it. And of course, it's really nice that my Go Flight also includes this name tag um, for the flight bag as well. So that's basically everything I got inside my flight bag. Let me know what you have inside your flight bag. Maybe we can compare notes or something. Um, if you have any other questions, send, feel free to send me a message. Uh, otherwise, I have a link to, for this flight bag down in the description below. Uh, well, I remember my first flight bag, what I got when I first started flight training, it was basically a lunchbox compared to this. So thanks again to my Go Fight for sponsoring this. Um, and other than that, Blue skies and tailwinds.